Holy Wire Mod here, and this is video 1B in the How to Build series, where I'm going to be continuing where I left off with the elevator. So, instead of making this only be able to go to two floors, we're going to make it go to a third floor as well. And we're going to be using the same setup from last video, so if you're unfamiliar, I recommend looking at that video and catching up. So, we're going to check the height for floor 2 real quick. This is going to be floor 3 up above, and here's floor 2. And we can do that by looking at the hydraulic length, which is going to be 255. So let's unfreeze that. And now we're going to go expression 2 chip, and we're going to set up an array called floor. And it's going to have an index n. If you're unfamiliar with arrays, you can check out expression tutorials 6a and 6b. So let's set up an array, and the first floor is going to be a value of 0. The second floor, we just saw, it's going to be a 255, we'll say 256. And then the next floor, we'll say it's around 513, like last time. And n, which is going to be our floor which we're starting on, is going to be the index value 1, representing floor 0 right here. Alright, so whenever we press this up button, actually before we even do that, let's uh, replace these max values with floor 3 number. And I want to show you that this format will, or changing it to this format, it's not going to uh, change the function. So all this is changed from max value to floor 3 number. And let's get on our elevator and go up. And as you can see, it brings us to floor 3 and bring us back down to floor 0. That's good. Now we're going to make it to where we go to floor 2 in the up direction first. So to do that, under constant or above constant, doesn't really matter, we're going to put n++. So whenever we pr uh, press the up button, and when n is less than 3, so we want a maximum n value of 2, which is going to represent this floor, uh, floor 3 value 513, all right, then we want to do all this code. So we're going to also replace everything that has uh, mentioned to floor with the variable n, which is going to, again, represent the index of the array. So, when we do this, we should now be able to get a floor 2, because it's going to boost us up to the next value of the array, which is 255, or 256, whichever or. And then, we go up to floor 3, which is our length of 513. So let's go down, and we're going to set up the downside, which is a little bit more work, but it's not as bad. Or not as bad as you'd probably think. So, when we press the down button, we want to decrease n by a value of 1. And we also want to set up condition to where we press down and n is greater than 1. This is going to prevent uh, our n from reaching a value 0, which does not exist in this array up above. Alright, so now we're going to change this statement. We're going to say when length is less than the floor's current n value, then decrement length, and we're going to also need that if statement, because we're going to need to stabilize things or adjust it after. So, actually, whoops, I'm sorry, it should be when length is greater in this loop right here, not when it's less than. Right here, it should be less than. If length is less than the floor value, so if it's less than a value of 256 to go to floor 2, then we're going to call the timer adjust. And since we're going downward, I'm going to give it an extra second, because remember, our constant value is 300, as opposed to the constant of 2,000 up here. So, let's see what that does. We're going to go up, and I'm going to show you a little issue which is going to happen. So we're going to go down, and then we're going to go down, and we're going to go down, and down, and down. We missed floor two. All right, so here's how we fix that. Instead of making it slow down when it reaches the value of floor 2, which is right here, we're going to say when it reaches the halfway point above or between floor 2 and floor 3, then start to slow down. So we're going to need to take this, which is going to represent, let's say we're starting at floor 1, we'll have 0, and then we're going to add a value of Floor, your current floor minus 
the floor under you, which is represented by index n minus 1. And then we're going to divide all that by 2. So if we're on floor number 2, we're, or floor, num yeah, floor number 2, and we're going to floor number 1, it would say five, uh, 256 minus 0 divided by 2, which is going to give us around 128. And we're going to add that 128 right here to this value of 256. So we're going to get the halfway point above floor 2. That's exactly what we want. So let's go up and up and also now we're going to go down. And as you can see it fixes the issue and it's now at floor 2. So if you want to monitor what floor you're on or let um, the rider know what floor they're on, you can grab a screen, call it floor, and just to simply do this real quick, I'm going to wire input A to output N, and that's going to give the current floor, which is given in the index of the array. So, go floor 2, floor 3, floor 2, and floor 1. Alright, so with this code, all you have to do to add more floors is simply add more elements to the array. And you have to change this end value as well, right here and right here. And other than that, that covers a majority of what you have to know to make any kind of elevator. And I hope that helps you out. If you have any more questions, let me know, and I'll see you next time.